Good morning, this is Diana Sescalini, and we are going to be covering Chapter 6 for ACCT 776, Bookkeeping. Let me park myself up here in the corner so we can get started. Okay, so Chapter 6 is the end of what we call the closing statement. So here, I'm sorry, the closing process. So in this chapter, we're going to do financial statements which you learned how to do them in chapter three and the closing process. Well, when we start the financials, we're gonna do with, start with the aid of the worksheet. That was the 10 column worksheet from chapter five. So we journalized adjusting entries, we preparing financials, and then we're gonna do closing entries. But from this worksheet, here's what we're gonna do. This is a copy of the worksheet that we prepared, that we had from chapter five. And we're going to take this information to do the income statement. We're going to take this information to do the balance sheet. And here are the three financial statements. We always do them in this order, but we pull the data from the 10 column worksheet. First, we're going to start with the header. Always should contain the three lines, company name, which account, which statement is it, and when is it for. I always put my revenues first. Well, there's my revenue. So I'm going to pull it over and plug it in. Now remember financial statements require a dollar sign at the top and bottoms of each column. Okay, there's only one revenue, so that's great. Now we're going to go get the expenses. We're going to pull them from the worksheet. Here they are. We're going to pull them and bring them over. Always list expenses in highest to lowest miscellaneous last and actually this is incorrect on this one here should always be highest to lowest in real life now we're going to add up our expenses which equal this and then we're going to subtract from our revenue so now here is a copy of our income statement and all we needed was the 10 column worksheet to provide it next we're going to do the statement of owner's equity Again, we, have, we always start with the uh, title up there. We start with the beginning capital, which was $2,000. And here, we don't show revenue and expenses, but we actually show the net income or net loss from the income statement. So there was my capital. There's my capital. I didn't put any more investments in. So let's pull in our net income. And we're going to plug it in right there. Minus any drawings that we take out. We pull it from our sheet, $150 we took out. And so we actually finally calculate everything. And here we have a new capital at the end of the month of $2,865. And our beginning balance was $2,000. So our capital or our owner's equity, I'm sorry, has actually increased. Okay, finally we're going to go to the balance sheet. Now we're going to change up on this. Before we had, um, there's two different type of forms. There's a report form, okay? This is what we're gonna see from now on. Before we did assets on the left, everything else on the right. Now it's gonna be all on one page. So we're doing report form. And we classify things. We have classified balance sheets now. So it's a little bit different. It's different than what we learned in chapter three. Assets are classification headings of current assets and property, plant, and equipment. Our liabilities are current liabilities and long-term liabilities. If I don't have any long-term liabilities, I don't list that classification heading. So let's take a look at our current assets. Here's an example of our current assets. I'm going to skip over this. Here's examples of our property, plant, and equipment. And now current liabilities, these are examples of current liabilities and long-term liabilities. So this is all debt. If I don't have it, I don't need to list it. So we list current assets first and we pull them from the sheet. So there they are, there's four of them. We plug them into the balance sheet. So we total current assets. Now we're gonna list property, plant, and equipment. And so there they are right there. 
and we're going to pull them. Remember, the we're, this is delivery equipment plus minus accumulated depreciation equals our book value. So it looks like this. Now we're totaling our assets. Now we're going to bring in our current liabilities. We only have two of them. And we're going to put them at the bottom. It's not right and left, but up and down now. Okay, now we're going to scoot it, scoot it down. Now we're going to pull the owner's equity. We pull it from there. No, we don't pull it from there. I'm sorry. We use the amount from our actual owner's equity sheet. Do not pull this from the 10-column worksheet. And total it out. So this concludes financial statements for Chapter 6.